population of Nordic countries, around 25 million. Out of which 8 million go fishing every year. Out of these, 100,000 are into fly fishing. Out of these, 10,000 don't hate jazz. That leaves around 8 people who are both fanatic fly fishermen and professional jazz musicians. This movie is about four. We are four guys from Finland, Norway and Sweden. Four years ago, Petsi, a famous Finnish TV producer, launched a project combining jazz and fly fishing. He promised to make all of us superstars. This season, jazz and fly fishing. Well, guess what? It didn't happen. The financial crisis hit Europe and the TV show crashed. We hit rock bottom. We decided to keep going anyways, because it was just too much fun. We started filming each other. Okay, action. Ah, this was real life. Going upstream and jumping. And we put the videos online. It turned out we actually had an audience after all. And since Petsy's plan didn't work, we decided to take matters into our own hands. At last. Thanks, man. Oh, man. What a journey. <laughs> I've never been so afraid in my life. Seriously. I seriously thought I was gonna die on that plane. Man, that was crazy. Argument. Hello, Wanker. A lot of videos lately. Yeah. The internet. And yeah. Trying to figure out how we're gonna shoot ours. Yeah. This is like, why are we here in Gothenburg? Like, yeah. You know, spending our you know precious time and money on this project. It's like endless suffering. Mm, yeah. For me. Fishing is like 90% suffering. And jazz is like 95%. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> At least. Yeah. yeah. It's like. Dedication leads to big fish. <laughs> but if it's just a show about jazz and fly fishing, who cares about jazz? Who cares about fly fishing? Yeah. yeah. But you care about some morons trying their best to make this strange combination of jazz and fly fishing work. Bananas, orange, huge amounts of bread, some uh, 
Fitte bare sult, ligner og sult. Det er noe fugge skudd. Ja, og det er ord. Det er mye av porridge. Vi må spenne. Og potkoffe. Potkoffe. Og eggs. Og fried eggs. Det skal gjøre det. It's really stupid, but we're in the middle of the ocean. The ocean looks like, again, like floating clay. And uh, there were some birds here. That's like our reference. Yeah, it must be very good because there were some birds. And again, no. You know what puzzles me a little bit is that why of all the thousands of good sea trout places around the world, why did we end up here? Fredrik is an expert on this. We're gonna catch a trout there, right? This, he says that the wind direction is very good. The wind is good. It's good with a little bit of mud in the water. It's too much, but it's good. But obviously it was a little bit too much. You know the best notes? and uh, go uh, 30 kilometers north to a place called uh, the island something I cannot expose um, it's supposed to be very good and I, I have to catch five trout otherwise I have to eat my hat I made a bet so I'm a little bit nervous Okay, today we have a Fukushima power plant. Um, I don't know about eating the fish from... I think it said something about the... In the I saw it on Reuters.com that uh, you shouldn't really eat the fish this close to the Fukushima power plant. I could say this has been a quite odd trip. There hasn't been any fish. I don't think this trip actually had anything to do with jazz and fly fishing. I don't know. Yeah, uh, we made some casts, that's for sure. Yeah, we made some casts. It was good, it was good to have some, you know, casting practice. Well, I think we can all agree that, you know, the only way is up. Up. <laughs> I think we can call it a night. Me too. Uh, yeah. There's some whiskey, isn't there? That's a rip. Mm. That's a really good rice. Oh, nice rice. Can I try it? <laughs> no, you can't. Lots of fish. Oh, 
Oh, there it is. Ooh, ooh nice one. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> that looks like a good fish. <laughs> it's a good fish. It's a really good fish. Oh, oh. see it was just sipping feather midge pupas and for once the cast was perfect and it's like zoom, it takes under the 45 mesh oh. look at this beauty have a look at that beautiful look at the colors look at the fins now oh, this is what we came here for a little little bit longer and it would have gone to the soup. <laughs> oh, this is a huge fish. Go! Explain. How hard can it be, really? <laughs> it's a lot harder than that. I think it was two meters in front. It was not well. The presentation was not perfect, but it's all right. Do you want me to tell you? <laughs> no, I'm not gonna rub it in. I think the cast was too fast and too aggressive. The cast has to be slower and smoother, bigger yeah. loops. Yeah. Because when now you did this like competition casting loops, yeah. and it, it's too much velocity on the fly line. Yeah, I just wanted to make the cast far enough. And of course. <laughs> Yeah, we're making the fish soup and uh, guess what, we just ran out of gas and it's like 4 degrees here, so now we're trying to make a fire. The problem is it's been raining all day so everything is soaking wet. Yeah. So how's the soup doing? The soup is doing fine, just put the fish in and now I'm just gonna make it to boil. And then we'll take it off. So we'll be ready in no time. Hey, the chair is on fire, guys! Oh, man! <laughs> <laughs> what just happened? The chair! The chair! The chair is on fire! <laughs> oh, the is on. Shit! Oh, the is on! What the fuck? Didn't we turn it off? Hard. Must be me. <laughs> Man. Just took the dry fly. I saw one rice, definitely a stonefly rice. And I just fished this area for a while. And suddenly, whoop, there it is. Just all the time feels like I'm losing it. Ooh. Don't fall off, don't fall off. Oh! Oh, it's the ugly, ugly rocks. I think it's I think it's getting done now. Really. Oh. What a beauty. Come to the day, come to the day, come to the day, come to the day, come to the day. <laughs> yeah, it's a really good fish. Should we do a fake take? Yeah, maybe. Or should we just. I don't know. The uh, light has changed. It will just look bogus. I yeah. Think. Let's keep it real this time. Keep it real. How do we keep it real? Keep hard? it real. By not doing a fake take, I guess. Can we send this uh, material somehow to Jona and Frederick mm -hmm. and uh, oh, uh, yeah. try to um, try to uh, torment them? Yeah, exactly, because they don't know what they're missing. They just don't come here. It's I don't just, know why. it's just like, are you coming this year? <laughs> <laughs> like, what is more important than this? Nothing. 
Yeah, this is our period. new uh, day job. Yeah. So. <sighs> it's nice. Good. This is the 10th of July. The trees are totally naked. And that's because this larva well, that eats the leaves of the birches, these larvae fall into the water. There's like 10 big arctic char going one meter from the shore. Oh, Mr. Go! Hey! You have to go scare it out of the shore! 